This is a fiddler crab. See that claw? Yum, yum, yum. This is black drum crack candy. We're going to go fishing with this in the ICW. And we're going to catch some black drum. Oh yeah, we are. Let's go. All right, I'm going to be fishing the ICW today, and I'm going to be on a boat. But if you don't have a boat, there's plenty of places to fish. You can find public access like this, which is on Davis Canal, or you can find a lot of little docks and piers along the way. This one right here is at the end of a West Oak Island Drive. I think there's someone fishing on there right now. And we're heading up the island. I'm going to go under the Midway Bridge here. If you've never been under the bridge, that's what it looks like. Usually you go across the top, right? Um, and here's another dock pier. It's a little park on 15th Street, I think it is. And there's some people fishing there too. So you can find these spots along the ICW to fish. All right, we're going to pick up some fiddler crabs here. And fiddler crabs do have a big claw, but they don't really pinch you. They don't really hurt that much. So um, if you find a marshy spot and you can pull over, um, you can just reach down and you'll see them in there and you can just reach down or they'll go in little holes and you can kind of dig them out. Now here I'm walking along the grass and there was a whole bunch of them kind of running away. I think the trick is to just target one. Like you see all of them, don't go after all of them, just pick out one. And I was just picking them up and throwing them in my little bucket right here. Here I found a whole bunch of them kind of running away, throwing them in the bucket. Now this is going to make excellent bait. And I don't mind the big ones with the big claws on it. Now some people will say, pick off the claws. I actually leave the claws on because I feel like if a black drum is coming along and he's he's feisty enough to take on a fiddler crab with a big pinchy claw, then he's probably the one I want to put in the boat. So I just hook it from the bottom on the side in the soft spot until it comes up to the top and just about pokes out of the top. I can feel the point coming up, but it doesn't go all the way through. And that holds it on. And if you're on the side, it kind of keeps it alive. I'm not sure if the black drum care if it's alive or not. I've caught them when they've been sitting there for a while and I've been caught them when I've just thrown them in. So they'll go for live ones and dead ones. I just happen to have floats on this rig. It just happens to be the rig I was using. I don't know if you need those or not. And I'm just throwing it out there. I don't know, maybe 15 feet off the shore. And it doesn't take any time for a black drum to hit to hit my 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 filler crabs. I will say that I have fished along this exact same spot with a shrimp before and not caught anything. I could fish there for an hour and only catch pinfish and then as soon as I go get the fiddler crabs uh, I put them on there I get black drum after black drum. Now these guys are all kind of small they're a little short probably between 12 and uh, 13 inches 13 and a half inches and I think the black drum the size limit um, minimum is 14 inches so um, I'm not keeping any of these, but I am catching a bunch of them. As you can see right here, I'm also letting them go. And I apologize for that water drop that there. I need to learn to wipe my lens off. Not only will black drum hit it, but puffer will hit it too. But the difference is puffer will hit shrimp. I like puffer, by the way. It's great fish to eat. But the pinfish you really don't go after. They don't really bother the filler crab. So you're kind of just catching quality fish, which is nice. The difference between that and using shrimp where you can, will catch black drum and puffer, but you also get your share of croaker and things you probably don't want. Now this one here, this is the way to catch a fish because not only did I hook him in the mouth, I hooked him in the tail too. It's like I had a little stinger hook, like if you're king fishing and you have a stinger hook on the back. So I actually got him in the back fin there and I got him in the lip. So he wasn't going anywhere. But uh, he, of course, was a little too small. I'm just going to take him over here and, and throw him up, up against the uh, measuring stick. But you can tell when you pick them up if they're too small. I mean, you can tell with the fight pretty much if they're too small. And, of course, he didn't, he didn't even make 13 inches. So he's going back in the water. Um, so, again, I am having a good day here. I am catching fish after fish, um, which is great. I mean, this is a lot of black drum. And only I was only out there a short period of time, maybe an hour or two. Um, but I will say that I have never gone there and used... Um, fiddler crabs and not caught at least one or two. I mean, not the amount of ca I'm catching here, but always catching some with filler crabs. They just love these things. Now that one's really small. I didn't even have to measure him. He's going back in. But I finally got the one I wanted to get, and I got him on my little pink rod, which I'm going to show you this rod in a minute, but I could tell he was big. Black drum fight, man. That's one thing I like about black drum. They will pull, and I was like, I'm going to get this guy in. I'm going to get the net for this guy. He's going to be, he's going to be a good-sized fish. This might be some fish tacos right here. So I get him in the boat, and 
I think that I was lucky to get him in the boat because look at this hook. It's barely holding on to his lip here. It's kind of almost kind of sad. Uh, yeah, look at that. And I can just I just pop that right out. And my wife's like on the shore. She's like, that's a big one. Don't don't, don't drop it. She knows I've been throwing them back. And she's like, she wants some fish tacos. And I'm like, I got to measure them. So I put them on there. He was easily 16 inches. So I was really happy about that. He's definitely going to be some fish tacos. So the one I got to keep right here. Um, he go, he goes in the cooler and goes home and becomes a fish taco. So there you go. Black drum um, on Fiddler Crabs. Give it a try. It definitely works. Let me show you the rod um, that I used that I caught this one on here. It's a spectacular rod. I bought this for my daughter like years ago. Uh, it's a little sea striker and it's pink. And I used to have another one like that. And when you cranked it, 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 it lit up. It had little lights on it. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave you with my big catch of the day, the lizard fish. All right. We'll see you out there.